In this lesson, we will look at several examples of simplifying a quotient or a fraction raised to a power. Remember, a fraction bar means division. To simplify the expressions, we will use the power of a quotient rule of exponents, which is shown here. Or if we have the fraction of a over b raised to the power of n, this is equal to a raised to the power of n over b raised to the power of n. So if we have a fraction raised to a power, we raise both the numerator and denominator to that power. We will also be using the power rule of exponents, which is a raised to the power of m raised to the power of n equals a raised to the power of m times n. So looking at number one, we have the fraction of two over x to the fourth cubed or raised to the third power. To simplify, we raise both the numerator and denominator to the third power. This is equal to two raised to the third power over or divided by x to the fourth raised to the third power. In the numerator, two to the third is equal to three factors of two. Two times two times two is equal to eight. In the denominator, we have powers raised to powers, which means we multiply the exponents. So the denominator is x raised to the power of four times three. Four times three is equal to 12. Expression simplifies to eight over x to the 12th, or eight divided by x to the 12th. Number two, we have the fraction of p to the third over q raised to the fourth power. Because we have the exponent of four outside the parentheses, we raise both the numerator and denominator to the fourth power. This is equal to p to the third raised to the fourth power over or divided by q raised to the fourth power. If it's helpful, we can write this q as q to the first, but we can see we just have q to the fourth here. In the numerator, we have powers raised to powers. We multiply the exponents. p cubed raised to the fourth power is equal to p raised to the power of three times four. In the denominator, we can write this as q raised to the power of one times four, or just q to the fourth. Three times four is equal to 12. This simplifies to p to the 12th over or divided by q to the fourth. Notice how we cannot simplify here because the bases are not the same. We can only apply the quotient rule of exponents when we're dividing and the bases are the same, which does not apply here. Number three, we have negative one over y to the third raised to the twelfth power, and therefore we raise both the numerator and denominator to the twelfth power. This is equal to the base of negative one raised to the twelfth power divided by or over y to the third raised to the twelfth power. In the numerator, we have the base of negative one raised to the twelfth power so because we have 12 factors, or an even number of factors of negative one, the numerator simplifies to positive one. In the denominator, we multiply the exponents, which would be y raised to the power of three times 12. Three times 12 equals 36. This simplifies to one over y raised to the power of 36. Let's look at two more examples. Looking at number four inside the parentheses, notice how we have a product, but we also have one factor that has a negative exponent. Applying the negative exponent property, which is a raised to the power of negative n equals one over a raised to the power of positive n, let's write this product as a quotient. Let's write m squared times n to the negative four as m squared divided by n to the fourth. This is still raised to the power of three. And now we'll raise both the numerator and denominator to the third power, which will give us m squared raised to the third power over n to the fourth to the third power. Here we have powers raised to powers. So we multiply the exponents. This is equal to m raised to the power of two times three over or divided by n raised to the power of four times three. Two times three equals six. Four times three equals 12. The expression simplifies to m to the sixth over or divided by n to the twelfth. Again, this does not simplify because the bases are not the same. Following for number five, let's begin by writing the expression inside the parentheses using positive exponents. Three raised to the power of negative two is equal to one over three squared, and z raised to the power of negative three is equal to one over z cubed. So let's write this as, in parentheses, one over three squared z to the third, and this is still squared. Now we'll raise both the numerator and denominator to the second power. 
So we have one squared all over the denominator of three squared z cubed squared. In the numerator we have one squared which is equal to one. In the denominator notice how we're squaring this product and therefore we square each factor in the product. So we have three squared squared times z cubed squared. Now we have powers raised to powers. So we multiply the exponents. This is equal to one over three raised to the power of two times two which is four times z raised to the power of three times two which is six. And for our last step, three raised to the fourth power is equal to four factors of three which equals 81. The expression simplifies to one over 81 z to the sixth. I hope you found this helpful.